So a few changes have been made to Safari in iOS 8. Now, of course, as every year, Apple promises that browsing will be faster, but they have added a few other improvements as well. First of all, taking a look at the search bar. Uh, much like the Spotlight search, which I covered in another video, they've kind of expanded the ability of what exactly you could search for. So uh, just like in my Spotlight search video, I'm going to search for the movie Edge of Tomorrow. And this brings up a movies in theaters result. Uh, so I don't have to go to Google. I can just tap on this and it'll immediately bring me to a website uh, dedicated to giving me information about that movie. Let's open up a new tab. And this time I'm going to search. I'm a little hungry again, just like I was in my spotlight search video. So I'm going to search for East of Chicago. And now I get a maps result. So the next thing I'm going to demonstrate is uh, an iPad only feature. I'll get to another iPhone feature in a second. Uh, every All these search features are available on the iPhone as well as the iPad. But uh, this next thing is an iPad only thing uh, where you can browse the uh, carousel view of your tabs, which is not that, but it's this. So. Uh, actually, the iPhone already has this, but this is just uh, a new feature for the iPad. Uh, the iPhone already had this in iOS 7. Uh, but you can now uh, use that carousel view, just like the iPhone had, to browse through your tabs. Uh, you, could, you still have access to the tab view up uh, below the search bar. But you could take advantage of the carousel view and uh, swipe away your tabs and browse the different windows. Uh, typically, hopefully, it would show you uh, little thumbnails for each of these websites. Uh, right now, uh, iOS 8 doesn't really run well on, on my device, uh, especially in the beta. So it's uh, running really sluggishly, so I wasn't expecting it to really load any of these, especially this is kind of a lot of websites open for my device. Uh, but in a perfect world, there would be thumbnails loaded for all of these. So uh, that is, again, a feature that iPhone already had now being brought to the iPad. Now, a, a feature that both devices have is it's an improvement of the private browsing feature. So if you utilize the private browsing feature, uh, you may know that when you hit private, it would ask you if you wanted to close all of your open tabs or keep them open. Uh, so now uh, it doesn't ask you that anymore. If I hit private, it just immediately jumps into private and I can uh, open up websites in private browsing. I can use the same tab view in my private browsing, and if I want to go back to regular browsing, I hit private again, and this time it gives me that uh, familiar message if I want to close or keep my private tabs. Now, uh, I can choose to keep my private tabs, and now I'm back to my regular browsing. I can resume all of the tabs that I had open in my regular browsing, but I can also go back to private browsing later and go back to those same tabs that I had open in my last private browsing session. So that's something new. Before, you had to close your private tabs in order to go back to regular browsing. So now you can jump between private and normal browsing without losing any of your tabs.